science is a collaborative discipline. Yet science is being held back by a gender gap. Girls and boys perform equally well in science and mathematics, but only a fraction of female students in higher education choose to study sciences. To rise to the challenges of the 21st century, we need to harness our full potential. That requires dismantling gender stereotypes. It means supporting the careers of women scientists and researchers. The women's empowerment principles developed by UN Women offer guidance for companies and others. In this year, in which we mark the 25th anniversary of the Beijing Declaration and Platform for Action, let us bring new urgency to promoting women and girls' access to science education, training and jobs. On this International Day of Women and Girls in Science, let's pledge to end the gender imbalance in science. And joining me live in the studio is Orisha Matosa Edodo Emore. Did I get your you name correctly? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who is an international legal uh, maritime uh, lawyer? And she is also uh, the chair of Zoe Maritime Resources. They are the conveners of the annual Lagos International Maritime Week, which brings uh, stakeholders in that sector to talk about maritime. Good to have you here. Thank you very much. Thank you for asking me. All right. No, so today is the International Day for uh, Women and Girls in Science. Mm -hmm. And we're also looking at women who are in fields that, quote and unquote, mm -hmm. are not um, fields for, that we see more women. And you happen to be one of those women who, <laughs> <laughs> You've been in maritime. You know almost everything about maritime industry, both within Nigeria and outside of Nigeria. You are also an international lawyer in maritime. So um, let's begin by asking you, how does it feel to be in this field that um, is male-dominated, so to speak? <laughs> I think to start with, um, it's a great blessing to be in, that, in an area that appears to be male dominated. Hmm. It's a great blessing because uh, being there alone, you stand out, which is one of the um, ingredients of success that you need. Hmm. Um, uh, being there is also interesting uh, because you come to realize that there's really nothing spe spectacular mm -hmm. in those places that uh, pertains to the male gender or that makes it uh, easier for men to operate there. No. You come to realize that what you need really is education. If a person has the relevant education, they can function in all kinds of offices, irrespective of whether they are men or they are women. So uh, the stereotype really, uh, I would say most often is cultural. Mm. So uh, for me, yeah, I, 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 I find it interesting being in maritime. It's an area that I love. It's an area that I think coming from Wari, it's a natural area for mm. me to be in. And uh, uh, it's, a, it's an area that has tremendous opportunities for women to flourish, uh, to get to the top. It is true that as of now, it is still male dominated. Mm. And the reason is simple is because um, in the past, maritime started with people going out to sea, and most often it was men. Mm -hmm. In fact, in the past, it was solely men. Uh, they were the ship captains, they were the investors in the vessels, mm -hmm. and um, they also supplied the manpower. But of course, things are changing now. Mm -hmm. Today, we have women seafarers, we have uh, women sea captains, we have women who, who have invested in the maritime industry in the sense that they have shipping companies that actually own ships. Hmm. Uh, so women are coming and, and I mean, the, mis the mystery is being dissolved. Good, the mystery <laughs> is being resolved. I like the way you put it. Now let's look, about, look at data. According to uh, UNESCO, it says uh, less than 30% of female researchers in the world, uh, uh, we just have less than 30% of female researchers mm. rather mm. worldwide. Mm. Now in a country like Nigeria, mm. are we likely to get to a point where Nigeria will be reckoned as mm. a nation with more, f with more female researchers? Mm. Mm. Think I, I think so? that for, for me, uh, the, the starting point in things like this is to realize that Nigeria is work in progress. That mm. is why Nigeria is called a developing country mm -hmm. rather than a country that is developed already. Uh, uh, that means that we are, we are in a state where we are, we are building, we're building things and we continue to build. So, um, so you would ask, okay, 
worldwide, the data is 30% of the world researchers are, are, are women. That is mm -hmm. only 30% yeah. are. But Nigeria is a developing country, so we, we, as of now, we do not even expect mm -hmm. to have 30% of all researchers uh, in Nigeria being women. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, the point is, where will Nigeria women uh, be in terms of research? Mm -hmm. And how do we encourage them to be involved in research? And I would like to tell you that, naturally, women are researchers. Great. Yes, in the natural course of things, because women run the home. And in order to, for a home to function, the woman has to understand what is there, what is not there, how to juggle uh, the resources of the family, how to make things happen. It, also, it all, always involves research. Hmm. So how do we bring this now to the marketplace? How do we make it more interesting for women to, to, to choose research as a career? I think that stems from, first of all, uh, encouraging women to be in the sciences because, because research is part of a certain, a certain science. Mm -hmm. right? And uh, all it takes really is what we have just started doing, that is calling attention, to it. first of all, to the data, mm -hmm. to say uh, women are behind in this area mm -hmm. of the industry. So the first thing we have recognized that now, so how do we close the gap? We close it by encouraging women to go into research mm -hmm. as a career. Mm -hmm. We close it by funding research mm -hmm. and funding the researches that women are interested in or the researches that women bring out, I mean, issues that women bring out to be researched. Mm -hmm. uh, so once we begin to fund, then you would find that and encourage, then we'll find more women going into the industry. Mm -hmm. And for Nigeria, because we're a growing nation, um, uh, to, to close the gap, the, the Nigerian government, either federal, no, federal and state, mm -hmm. have to make, it's a, a decision that they have to make, that we're going to be funding researches, mm -hmm. and especially researches that are being organized by women in order to push, push women forward. Because in things like this, it's, it's not really individual effort that is necessary, but it's the effort of um, uh, the people in authority. Mm -hmm. That is uh, a systematic effort, and it's usually driven by government. All right. Uh, we'll bring you back here. Yes. But before I let you go, this is the last question yes. uh, for you. Because we are talking about uh, women and encouraging them to be in certain fields. In mm -hmm. fact, uh, the theme for this year uh, is investment in women and girls in science for inclusive green growth. Mm. Now you are in the maritime, right? And of course, you've talked about your strength and all mm. of that. What are your peculiar challenges as a woman in that sector? I think uh, for me, the most interesting challenge is, is that uh, it's in the area of fees. Mm. That is the work that I do and being paid for, for mm. it. Uh, most, most often, I mean, uh, th this is something that is not really uh, spoken. It's something that you just sense. Like you send an invoice for a work that you have done, mm -hmm. and uh, that the, the, the recipient tend to discount want want to discount the invoice, mm -hmm. and the reason being is, oh, she say, woman, what does she need that kind of money, money for? for? <laughs> but she's worked for it. <laughs> yes, I think that that's that's the greatest challenge. Mm -hmm. I've been paid uh, adequately for services rendered mm -hmm. at the price that you have put forward. Mm -hmm. Most often, you know, as a woman, you're probably having to, to, to debate, it. yes, uh, uh, debate the price. Whereas, you know, most often, you know, men come in there and... Uh, you pay almost immediately <laughs> without a second thought. Yeah, so that, that's, that's really the issue for me. Right. I mean, it's, the, it's payment. Thank you so very yes. much, Ma, for your time. <laughs> Thank you. And we've been speaking to Risha Matosan, a Dodo Emore, who is uh, the chair of Zoe Maritime Resources and also a lawyer, international lawyer for maritime.